Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video and yes, oh my god, I can't believe it, it's another skincare video, which it's a very good skincare video actually. I've got the ordinary, oh yeah. So if you aren't already, I'd absolutely love for you guys to join my channel, so please subscribe down below and give this video a massive thumbs up at the, at the end or at the beginning now or halfway through whatever it takes your fancy but you know I appreciate all the support that you give to me and I'd absolutely love for you to just watch me grow and watch my channel grow but anyway I'm rambling on so without further ado let's get on to today's video So guys, this is a long overdue, but I have the ordinary products here and I am doing a haul and a try on. Basically, my, oh, my, my first impressions. So I have four ordinary products here. Three of them I have never ever tried before. I've not even opened from the packaging, so I'm really excited to find them. And then the last one I have used before, it was actually my first skincare video that I uploaded onto YouTube. So, you know, check it out if you haven't done already. Two of these products I'm gonna be trying out tonight. So I'm filming this in the evening because I've got two products that I can basically only well that's actually going to fit into my skincare routine in the evening and then I've got two products to try out in the morning that just sort of fit my morning skincare routine. I'm actually going to get onto my most anticipated one first. Um, at the end of this video I will sort of let you know how much all of these four products cost and you'll sort of see my reactions throughout this video as well because these three products are you know quite intense but I'm actually really looking forward to them and I hope that they sort of improve my skin anyway. So the first product I have is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution and I mean like come on guys if you had like this is the pinnacle of the ordinary as well as the hyaluronic acid like this is what the ordinary are most known for is this peeling solution and all the different acids they have obviously I've been waiting a very long time for this just because when I first started using the ordinary products which was about five months ago I was new to acids and I was new to sort of like you know very topical ingredients. So with my sensitive skin, I sort of wanted to build my tolerance of acids up. So I started sort of with the glycolic acid and then I went to the mandelic acid, even though later on I found out that the mandelic acid is a lower percentage and is quite like calmer for your skin than the glycolic acid. But um, with fantastic results from the glycolic acid, and by the way, like I should have actually bought the glycolic acid as well because I literally got this much left. But yeah, that's what I'd probably suggest to anyone who hasn't been using acids before or who just sort of have sensitive skin is build up your tolerance before you go to like the big big boy stuff. It basically like start with the mandelic acid, go to the glycolic acid, um, do patch tests obviously and then go to this peeling solution. So the ingredients in this is the AHA 30% and that's alpha hydroxy acid. So that's basically your glycolic acid, your lactic acid, your citric acids and then your BHA 2% is like your salicylic acid. And you can actually find the ordinary salicylic solutions and also the mask that I've had. Um, it's a great mask actually. So like buy that as well and I've also done a video on it so check it out if you haven't done already and so what alpha hydroxy acids do is they exfoliate sort of the top layer of the skin and they sort of get rid of all of those like dead skin cells and just sort of really refresh your skin then your BHA acids go deeper down into the pores of the skin and get them like or get all the impurities and get all the pores like clogged out and basically just vacuum all your skin so it's feeling refreshed from the outer and also the inner of your skin. So combining these two different forms of acids, it really makes your skin have an even and brighter complexion and fresh looking sort of younger skin as well and gets rid of all of those dirt and the grime and the spots. Like I've got a little pimple here, that's because I've been eating chocolate. Yeah, I shouldn't have been eating chocolate, but you know, we can't resist chocolate, can we? So it'll be really interesting to sort of see if I wake up tomorrow and this pimple is like really, like it's gone. This solution also contains a Tasmanian pepperberry, which is a, basically an ingredient that really sort of helps to calm down the irritation of using acids. So this is absolutely perfect because it is the high strength acids. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which just helps soften and also moisturize the skin. And also vitamin B5, which is an antioxidant to protect your skin from free radicals. Okay, so now we have spoken about the main ingredients in this peeling solution. I'm just going to go to the bathroom now and let's try this bad boy on for the first time. I'm actually really excited about this. I cannot wait. Okay, guys, so we are now in the bathroom and I'm literally just going to crack this bad boy open. Um, 
So I've heard that the color variations can differ just because of the nat natural ingredients in this. Um, but yes, it does look very red and quite bloodish. It's actually really funny because it's in this like typical ordinary pipette style bottle and it looks like a blood sample, I'm not gonna lie. Like I hate blood and I hate needles as well. I can't even watch them on TV like, oh, I'm such a squeamish person. Like I used to, I was quite ill over my teenage years and I used to go for blood tests all the time. Honestly, every single time out on the floor, literally can't even describe. I hate it. I would avoid absolutely anything to go to the hospital. I actually can't stand it. So, oh, it's quite like thick and a bit syrupy, but let's just get this cracker lacking. Right. I'm just gonna like blob it onto my face like here and then just rub it in using my fingertips. Oh, you can feel that tingling a little bit. So I'm just gonna actually go quite quick. Oh my God, it looks like, it looks like a horror movie. <laughs> oh, did I just drop? Oh no! Oh no, I've got it on my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, that is me down to a T, guys. I am so clumsy. Right, I'll just have to rub this in very quickly before I get any more on my nice t-shirt. I've not even had this t-shirt a long time either. I might have to just apply a bit more once I've rubbed all of this in because it does look quite thin. But it is tingling a little bit. Um, but that's just normal guys, don't worry if you are going to be trying this out. So this actually has been out quite a few years now. Um, and the old and I have been out quite a few years, but they're just smashing it all the time, aren't they? I don't want to go too close to my eyes. And it also does say, like, the stress of the importance of this, of using this, is do not leave it on for more than 10 minutes. And also do not use it more than twice a week. So what I'm going to do is going to do it, like, every five days, just so it's more consistent. Because if I say I'll use it, like, today, and then it's been quite a few days later, and I'll be like, oh, like, I'll use it that day. And then, like, there might be, like, at some circumstances where I'm using it three times in a week. Um, obviously I do not want that, so I'm gonna use it every five days. I might even make a note on my calendar. So if you want, just let me know down in the comments below if you wanna see like a four week review on this peeling solution or any other ordinary products that I'll be featuring in this video later. I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes and then I'll get back to you once I've washed it off and we'll see if I've got a bright complexion or not. So guys, that is 10 minutes done and the peeling solution washed off and honestly my face feels super super smooth. Like I don't actually see an overall difference in the like imperfections like or like the brightness or anything of my skin. But I think that we'll have to see that sort of tomorrow morning or over the next few weeks and um, see if this peeling solution is an absolute winner all round. My skin is feeling a bit tight from the peeling solution so I'm just going to go and use the next ordinary product that I have. So it is the Marina Hyaluronics and this is a hydrator. So I'm going to get crack with this and the only reason why I've not had the hyaluronic acid before is because I've heard that it's quite tacky and a bit silky and sticky in plate like when you apply it to your skin um, and this is actually sort of a water-based serum so it really doesn't actually like like feel tacky and sticky onto your face and that's something really important to me and that's what I go as a personal preference is I don't want basically I want to have this product on my face and I want to know it's working but I don't want to feel like it's there if you get me because I have combination skin it's really important for me to not be layering lots of heavy solutions onto my face so what I'm going to do, just like the peeling solution and just like the other salute, like ordinary products that I have with a pipette star bottle is just go along the face there and quickly because this is super, super like, oh my God, it's like actually dripping down my face. Maybe I'll put a bit too much on there. Oh, I can taste that as well. <laughs> Doesn't actually taste bad. Doesn't that? Yeah, <laughs> that is weird. But there's actually no smell to it at all, which is really nice. And the ingredients in here basically um, are full of sort of marine derived algae. So you've got your Hawaiian red algae, you've got your blue green algae in here. And it's packed with amino acids as well, which is great, which is like that added 
um, hydration support. I've actually used the amino acid plus B5 from the Ordinary before and I've absolutely loved it. It's been a really good product so I'm really excited to sort of continue try well not continue but really excited to use this as a hydrator and finally you can use this twice a day in the morning and the evening but I'm literally just going to be using this in the evening because I've got another ordinary product which I'll be showing you in a second that I'll be using in the morning as sort of that pre-moisturizer base so sort of like that water based serum kind of thing. So incorporating this into my evening skincare regime I'm going to be washing my face with like my normal cleanser and then I'll be using the peeling solution but when I'm not using the peeling solution I'm going to be just using maybe the like glycolic acid toner or another toner and then I'll be using this just to really boost the hydration levels in my skin and then I'll probably use an oil or an overnight cream. Okay and those are the two new products from The Ordinary that I'll be using in the evening but I'm super happy with the results and well not sort of results but first overall first impressions of these products like this one has been amazing apart from the little incident there <laughs> and this one as well super lightweight non tacky non silky really hydrating on my skin like it's such a difference from not using this after using the peeling solution to like using this after you know what I mean um, but yeah those are the two new products that I have from the ordinary and then we're gonna now skip to the morning Hey guys, it is the next morning now and I'm about to start with the last two ordinary products that I have for you guys in this haul. But first of all, can I just say my skin, like I've woken up this morning and my skin just feels really like smooth and refreshed and it just feels really hydrated as well. Um, so I don't know what that peeling solution has actually done overnight, but my skin it just like it just feels healthier so I'm super excited to sort of continue using this product and see how it interacts with my face over the next few weeks or four weeks or five weeks or whatever. So guys I'll be showing you this product first just because I'll be using this product after using this product in my morning skincare regime if that makes any sense. <laughs> this is the, actually the product that I've used before and you know Kate take a good guess because it's been absolutely amazing like if you've watched my first ordinary skincare video you'll know I absolutely loved this one and I just can't believe I've not bought it sooner so it is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% so basically it, the niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3 which helps protect against sort of like free radicals hyperpigmentation infrared sunlight you know all of that jazzy jazzness but it also is a great product if you have a combination skin so because the zinc because the zinc is in there it's a great way of sort of regulating the serum production that the skin produces and um, so it's a great base just before you want to apply heavier creams and it will just really help regulate your serum production so you're not going through halfway through the day with like oil dripping down your face because that is not what we want in this heat anyway <laughs> And as well, zinc also helps produce the collagen of the skin, you know, regenerating those skin cells with a brighter and healthier and younger looking complexion. So what I'm going to do with this product is it's just exactly the same as the other pet star bottles the ordinary have, is you just, you know, squeeze an amount and then just put it on like that and rub it in with your fingertips. You can go in a clockwise or anti-clockwise motion, whatever suits you. You can actually use this in the morning and also the evening, but because obviously I'm using the marine hyaluronics and then using sort of a nighttime moisturizer or an oil, I just don't really want to be using this. I want to sort of use this in the morning because it will really help regulate my serum production. You know, combination skin is not the one. <laughs> So I'm just applying an even amount all over my skin and it really does spread well and oh, honestly guys I'm so happy that this is back into my life. So guys that is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% boxed off and done and applied on my skin and oh, like I literally can just hear my face thinking hallelujah 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 because it's back the niacinamide is back on my face and I'm feeling happy. <laughs> So guys, last but not least from the Ordinary Hall is the Azelaic Acid Suspension 10%. And honestly, I've not heard like that like too much about this product I, because I have wanted sort of a creamy based product that I could use in the morning but wasn't like a moisturiser, it was a bit lighter than a moisturiser. So I found this and I did, did actually do some research. So it comes in a 30ml size bottle which is on the touch side of small but I feel like because this is sort of like a gel cream moisturiser base 
it might spread well with me and I don't think I'm going to actually need that much because it is an acid. So because I don't know too much about this product, I'm just going to get the information for you guys from the Ordinary's website. It said, found in grains as lake acid is produced naturally by yeast that lives on normal skin. It brightens the skin tone while visibly improving the evenness of skin texture and reducing the look of blemishes. It is a multifunctional support ingredient for all skin types and also acts as an effective antioxidant, which is an absolute bonus. This formula offers a very high 10% concentration of high purity acetic acid in a lightweight gel cream system. <laughs> Directions apply to phase AM and or PM to improve visible brightness and the appearance of skin texture. So obviously it says you can use it in the morning and also the evening, but I'm just going to be using this in the morning. I'm just going to be using this in the morning after I've applied the niacinamide and it's an absolute winner all around because it is an antioxidant so it's going to protect my skin from those free radicals of going out in the day so with the air conditioning units, with people smoking, with petrol, with the sun, absolutely everything. So I'm just going to dive into it actually and do I need to take, yeah I do need to take that off. Hello. Hello, are you in there? Okay, we got it. Apply to avoid contact with eyes, use some protection, yeah. So it doesn't actually say how much you need and it doesn't smell of anything. So I'm just gonna rub it in very gently. All right, so it's a lot thicker than I anticipated. It doesn't really travel that well either. Like I thought it would probably be more like a bit water based gel than anything else but this is quite thick it doesn't tingle or anything like that as well as using the nice and i hope these two products really target the blemishes that i can probably get throughout the day and just those textural irregularities on my skin from pre previous spots and sort of a bit of scars and stuff so guys that is the as lake acid suspension 10 percent all gone onto my face and it really does actually feel smooth once it's settled down into my skin it didn't travel as far as i expected it to but that's absolutely fine like i'm going to be applying my nivea oil control sunscreen that i apply every single day now so i know that my skin will be protected and it will also be moisturized and soft and supple as well all of these four products it actually only cost me 22 pound 60 which i just i always say this in my ordinary videos but it's just outstanding the price that you can get for your money like there's so affordable but yet effective in what they do for your skin yeah some ingredients might not work for you you might have different skin concerns but there's such a wide range that the ordinary have now that you'll definitely find something but if you are wanting to try the ordinary products or if you want to try new ordinary products and you're not too sure because you just don't really understand the ingredients or what you know the benefits of the products have then have a look on the diacin website i think i'm pronouncing that word that right diacin and in the regime guide it tells you what you can use what you can't use with different products like what conflicts the different products you know when to use them in the morning or the evening and it's just a, such a great great regime guide for you to follow and just to get some resource information for yourself and so that brings me to the end of the video i really hope you've enjoyed this whole try on first impression kind of thing and let me know if you do want me to like film a four week review or whatever but now i'm gonna go and walk ellie hello hello you heard me say your name didn't you yes you did Yes, you did. Hello to the viewers. Hello. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to walk this little one now. But I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And now guys, I will see you in the next one.